right, welcome back to Racing Arizona Day 2. Today is the most exciting day because today is eliminations. Only one of our teams will cross the finish line here on 5th Street in downtown Phoenix to collect one year's free gas. But everyone who participates has an epic rise. Right now, let's check in with our social media team. Well, we're studying a lot of analytics today because sadly it is elimination day. Uh, so we're looking at all the background work and how many shares and likes you guys have been doing. Amazing. Uh, we do have some updates for you. Team Yellow, we are sending you, based on a suggestion online, to Kabuki Falls, I think it might be. We'll send you the information. And Green Team, major kudos on making it to your first location. We're so proud of you. And now you will be going to River Island State Park. So good luck. Today's Arizona Republic, in the very first section, there's a two-page spread about our show. Thank you, and tell all your friends to watch. All right, hey guys, we're at Hamalavi, Hamal, how do you say it? Hamalavi. State Park, and we've just seen two of these guys now, and I'm a native of this area, and I've never seen this amazing, beautiful little lizard in Arizona, so. We're live now. Okay, we're live now. So yeah. we have been sent to the Oracle State Park by Racing Arizona Foods Reality TV program okay. for Mr. Team Purple. Are there snakes here? There's snakes in Arizona. Amber, she just came out of the uh, Lava River Cave. How did you like it? It was really cool. There was some ice, and it was really cool to see just the ice down there. You oh. wouldn't expect it was so hot out here. Was it a little scary inside? I'm it's afraid. A little scary. Okay. But you'll... Okay, are you sure? Because yeah. I'm going to be really afraid. Just watch your footing, and it gets really low, so don't hit your head. Okay, awesome. Well, you heard it from Amber. I'm going to be okay. If you guys don't hear from me, I tripped and I fell. Please <laughs> don't send help. My husband will take care of me. Hey, guys. We've had our coffee. We've had our little scare at the cemetery. Our heart is still pounding, but we were told we get to open our second black envelope, and we were told our next destination, we're heading to Slide Rock. I knew I needed a swimsuit today. I don't know why. Have to do it a on. backflip. Yes, we're gonna have a backflip competition against the yellow team. But I guess you guys didn't have a cheer that goes with your color. Woo! I brought a cheerleader. <laughs> Are you videoing? Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, Alright, so we're going to go into the cave now. I don't know if we're going to come back. I don't know if you watched <laughs> that scary movie with the creepy ones. If we don't come back and you don't hear from us in the next hour... I'd give yourself an hour and a half. Oh, hour and a half. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Team Orange here. Alright, so we're going to open up our black envelope. I'm the worst at opening mail, she, she so... open it. <laughs> I'm a very weak person and obviously not very smart. We were just given instructions to open a black envelope. Questions and confessions. Everyone in the vehicle must answer separately. What was your worst punishment as a child? How has it affected you today? Aww. What was your worst punishment as a child? How has it affected you today? I'd be very interested to hear about this from both of you. So, so honestly, like, I was always really terrified of my nan. Like, not because she's a mean person, just like, you don't want to make her mad. It's just one of those people that, like, she's so sweet and, like, a total hippie, but she counts to three and you're like, oh shit, like, I better shut up because I'm gonna she's get She's my mother in law and I'm but, terrified of her. Like, she Love never, you, man. like, she never really, like, punished me. It was more just like, if she was disappointed in me, Ooh, that that's... was, that was more than being punished or getting taken anything away or whatever. Yeah. So if I knew she was disappointed, it was the way like she acted or talked to me and it was like why well, I was dumb and made a mistake. So I think that's affected me today um, in a positive way because I mean it's shown me that you can be disciplined in more ways than being hit or physically touched. It can yes. all be mental. When I was 17 years old one of my, a couple of my friends and I, we ditched school and we went to the state fair. So that's like four hours away. So, um, 
We had planned on getting home before my parents were home. Hey, Lucy, good. To, thanks for joining us. Um, we were planning on getting home before my parents got home, but we got caught in a forest fire on the rim, and we didn't. So when I went home and I knocked on my parents' door that night, and I said, hey, I'm home, because that was kind of the deal we had. All my dad said in the pitch black was, did you see that big stack of wood outside? I said, yeah. He said, that will be all split and stacked tomorrow. And it was a lot of wood. So I had to spend hours splitting and stacking wood. I know that they always joked about the wooden spoon. If you weren't listening, you'd get the wooden spoon out that was on top of the refrigerator and you'd get a spanking. But I never remember getting a spanking. So, okay, so think of any punishment you've had. Does that mean that your parents are not punishing you enough? No. No. <laughs> Hey everyone, uh, Team Orange here. We just came out of the cave. Uh, we are on our way to the barbecue place, so I think you guys suggested that we go there. Bigfoot barbecue. Bigfoot barbecue. We are on our way to get our grub on. Hey guys, so we're here at Bigfoot barbecue. We just got here. We don't know what to order, so I guess we'll leave that up to you guys. What's your favorite thing? I love the mac and cheese. <laughs> We're really excited about this. Make sure to share a post and keep liking them. It is elimination time, so keep us in the game. See you soon. Bye. We're here live with the Orange team. Valentino, how's it going? It's going great. I'm having a great time. Tell me what you've experienced so far. What's been your favorite thing? So I think our favorite thing was the cave that we just came from. Um, it really made us feel like we had to really work together, um, especially going as deep and dark as it was. It was pretty, it was it was amazing, it was beautiful. What cave did you go in? We went to Lava River Caves. And? Is there hot lava? So we went to Lava River. Uh, it's actually, there's lava rocks. There's not actual hot lava. Okay. <laughs> we checked. Uh, so <laughs> we went deep dark in the cave. There's two different paths that you can take. You can either take the one one of them you have to crawl in, and Marcus is too tall, so we weren't able to do that one. So we had to do the other one. Got it. Have you had a good time? Has this been an amazing adventure? It really has been. We really love it. I, we were talking about it on our way to our next stop at the at the uh, Bigfoot Barbecue, and, and we feel like we should just do this every weekend. It's something that we should be taking, you know, being real active in our lives and participating with nature, because nature is everything, and the okay. national parks really. What are you guys like? <laughs> the national parks are beautiful. This is live TV. This is literally happening right now. So. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right. With that, it is a race. Let's check in with our Swift social media team. Hey, how are you guys doing? Guys. So, what are the numbers telling us? You have been eliminated. We got eliminated. I'm sorry. Oh, that's sad. Well, at least we're eating some good food before we go. Awesome. Now, Orange Team, we encourage you to continue racing and posting things to your personal page. However, we do have to pull you off the map. Orange we have what? If you will make your way to Bliss Rebar for the after party, we do have prizes for you. You are still a winner. You're no longer eligible for the grand prize, but you're technically a winner, and we have some great things for you. Just so you know, you guys are getting two cabin stays and one park pass. So you get two cabin stays, which is a two-night stays, um, at some of the state parks, and then the park passes. So congratulations, you guys. All right, excellent. So we will see you at Bliss Rebar, and thank you for watching. All right, you guys, we're in park, but we are, um, we're waiting in line to get to Slide Rock. It's really busy, but there's now only two people ahead of us. They're gonna let us in, but there's a lot behind us. So we came at the perfect time. We'll see you guys down at the water. All right, you guys, we are live here at Slide Rock, and Maddie has a little cheer for you. You ready? Are you guys ready? Our team is what? Red Hot! Our team is what? Red Hot! Our team is R-E-D with a little bit of X-O-T-O, baby! R-E-D, H-O-T, Red Hot, Red Hot, Red Hot!
our route's going to take us back through Holbrook and Snowflake and Sholo and down towards Globe. So if there's something that you, um, let me find my little card here so I can give you a number. If there's something that you guys know of on the way, if there's something that you know of on the way where we should stop and say hi to somebody or... Or maybe if you live in one of those towns and you want to come out with some signs and yell at us as we come by, we'll honk at you. Um, or if there's just something you want us to do between here and there, let us know. And we're not going to be monitoring this as closely because we're driving, but you can text me at 3610 You can text us with something that you want us to do or see or anything in between here and Civic Q Falls down in the Salt River Canyon. Um, we're super excited about this journey. It's going to get us back in the pines. It's really hot. Guys, we're drying off. I dedicate this to Alan. Alan? <laughs> He's inside. He's the front desk guy here. At the hotel we stayed at, we decided to come back here for lunch because they were so friendly and they were so nice. And we still have their Wi-Fi password, so the videos will post live better. Um, but they told us to have lunch, dry off, so we're still eating our food that we've packed for the weekend, except... We've only packed peanut butter and jellies for like our main meal and our bread got ruined in the cooler. So we're gonna have pineapple and apples and chips. So we are at the Wigwam Motel. You can see the sign in the background in Holbrook, Arizona. This is a Route 66 classic. So we had to stop through, we passed by it. So check this out. This is Mater. So the Cars movie was much designed and and created based on route 66 and you might recognize they they make these car cones in in the the cars movie off of the wigwam and here's mater off the wigwams that's right so we this is actually an actual motel where you can stay and it's right here this is route 66 right here right here in Holbrook Arizona you guys slide rock was awesome there were so many people so many people you flirted your way in <laughs> the line was so long and then we showed him the newspaper article and said, we have to be here. Like, we were told. I miss Connor. Aww. I know. Yo, what's up, Facebook? It's Team Yellow in the house. And we are in Snowflake, Arizona, and we just got rerouted. What's that about? So apparently the hike that we were sent on to Civic Q Falls was a pretty long, strenuous hike that had us off-roading in in Adam and that wouldn't have been so cool but apparently we got rerouted so and we decided to have a little bit of fun so we're in Snowflake Arizona getting ready to be rerouted to Full Hollow Lake in Sholo so if any of you are in Sholo come and join us at the lake let's have some fun I might be throwing down some gangster rap you know because that's what we do and and I want to share my team with you so we now have let me turn this around here we now have J Dogmon J Dogmon Nebraska let me see your dreads man so we got J-Dogmon in the house with his ukulele and his grass skirt. Oh, so ukulele, a grass skirt, and dreads. All right. Right on. And then we've got Gangster Brandon over here with his, his Russian mafia hat and his, and his scarf. So we are totally pumped. So we are headed to Fool Hollow Lake. And we ain't going to be no fool. We're going to break this fence. <laughs> All right, you guys. It's just me. We had to stop, Maddie had to pee. Uh, but we are getting so excited, you guys. We're so close to the end of the race. And Maddie was just saying how much fun we're having and we don't want it to end. And seriously, this is so much fun. Arizona is so much fun to explore. Please, please, please like and share. I promise we'll stop bugging you after today, please. You guys, I overheard that they have one of those extra large checks, like those fake ones, and I really, want to just take it into a bank and pretend like I can cash it, but I really want to win! Please. Here comes Maddie. Yee! She's walking up. She doesn't know I'm live. <laughs> she smiled. I think she does. Uh oh. Ah! I peed on Hi. myself. It's live! <laughs> I don't care. Oh my gosh! We've got Kristen on the phone. Kristen, how are you? Wow, that's awesome. Are you having fun? We are. We're having a lot of fun. We're just tired and we're happy we got here. We have one more destination and we're going to head back. So, we're excited. Cool. Yeah, we're excited. Yeah, 
Awesome. Well, our signal's coming in and out. Tell us where you are, Kristen. We are pretty much up to the heavens. We are in Crown King. We are so high in the mountains, and my niece, who's afraid of heights, she doesn't even want it. She's, like, done. She's so scared. <laughs> so, we're really high up the Crown King Saloon. Well, Kristen, let's go check in with our events team. Team How's she doing? Team Red's doing well. We got to, uh, we're running the numbers now. We're waiting for an answer back just to confirm the final round of cuts. And it looks like, unfortunately, Team Red, we're gonna have to cut you. Um, I'm sorry, Team Red. You Thanks did a great job today. You got a lot of positive feedback. We got prizes for you. Come on in. Oh, Team Red, I am sorry. Team Red, it's time to shower and go home and then come to Bliss Rebar. We do have a prize for you. You are a winner. You are a winner. You are a winner, but it's time. It's time for the red car. Kristen, come on home and come claim your prize. Bye, thank you for playing. And here we are. We are entering Biosphere 2 in Arizona. This is down in the Tucson area for all of you who want to come down to Tucson. This is, uh, I think, a world-renowned known uh, location for coming down and um, what are we doing here? We're looking at... Okay, here we are at Biosphere 2. We are about to go in. Uh, the request from our producer was to go wild and crazy, have lots of fun, crazy videos. So we just happen to have brought costumes with us. Welcome to Biosphere 2. Entrance. All right, guys, where are you taking me? Where are you taking me? What's going on? We're going to look at the bias. It's not a sphere. It's actually a pyramid. Oh, this is beautiful. Feels cool. Oh, we're going to the rainforest. What's down here? Oh wow! Yeah. I saw butterflies. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, it's, so it's like a hanging garden. We're about to enter the south lung, and I'll explain all of that here in just a few minutes. But there is a 200-foot tunnel that we'll go through. Now we are going through the airlock. You're going to see us be pushed out of the lung like a loogie. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, you may, there may be a little fast force here. Whoa. Whoa. Totally. That was fun. Let's get to the No. time in the airlock. That was fun. Yes. We just left the we, biosphere and it was phenomenal. It was actually it was amazing. It was actually ridiculous. It was uh, it was so cool to see how they consider the entire world into everything that's done. Wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh. We're on biosphere one now. Oh, we we are now in biosphere we're now one. On biosphere one. <laughs> Which means the earth.